Hello everyone, uh, I'm Gail Anna Swarter and this is Lyndon Linthicum United Methodist Church. Welcome, it's great to see you today. Our women's Bible study started a new, a new study this morning called Made for a Miracle. And so I've been thinking about miracles and uh, what they mean, how it is that God makes them happen and how they uh, are connected to our life of faith. And so I was uh, thinking about some of the miracles in the Bible and there's one that is recorded in John chapter four. And uh, it is telling about uh, Jesus's travels and some of the things that he has done. And um, it talks about this. It says, now he was back in Cana of Galilee, the place where he made the water into wine. Meanwhile, in Capernaum, there was a certain official from the king's court whose son was sick. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and asked that he come down and heal his son, who was on the brink of death. Jesus put him off. Unless you people are dazzled by a miracle, you refuse to believe. Now, if you read on in the story, you find that uh, really this man has faith and Jesus does heal his son. But, but I loved that line, and this is from the paraphrase of the Bible by Eugene Peterson, the message. I love the line, unless you people are dazzled by a miracle, you refuse to believe. Which begs the question, how do we define miracle? Is a miracle something that happens just poof, out of nowhere, something that absolutely couldn't possibly be, and yet it happens? Or is a miracle something that can happen in everyday life? Or is it both? Is it a miracle every time someone does something extraordinarily kind for someone else? Is it a miracle right now that there are any healthcare workers at all that are still on the job after all that they've been through in the last year? Is it a miracle how much food has been provided from one hand to another? Is it a miracle how many people have shared their stimulus checks or their bonuses if they got them or whatever funds that they had that were extra, shared that anonymously with somebody else because somebody else was in need? Are those miracles? Often, I believe God makes miracles happen through the hands of normal people like us, through your hands, through my hands. They are miracles too. And so instead of waiting to be dazzled, as the scripture says, could we be those who believe in miracles because of what we see and experience every day of our lives, the things that God enables normal human beings to do that bless the world, that change the world, and that do what Jesus prayed for, that the kingdom of earth may come the kingdom of heaven may come upon the earth. May it be so. Amen.